okay? So my hand's gonna go inside here, and I'm gonna go for the leg. When this knee is bent, snake. This is called snaking. Watch, my thumb turns down, and I snake the ankle. When I can do this, I can pull it a little bit up. See, I pull this toe off the mat a little bit. I'm not saying I'm using a lot of strength when I do it, but what I mean is, if I keep this grip and I just keep it like that, watch out for the, the camera. If the guy sprawls, he can't really sprawl. If I let him put his toe on the mat, he might be able to stretch like that and get away. So I just wanna have a tension on it. I'm straight, I'm rotating like this. Are you throwing a punch? You know how you twist the punch? And you twist your thumb down, boom. Now when he tries to sprawl, it's tough. He puts weight on me or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna fight to go towards my knees. Pulse my hand, get off my knees, walk on my toes, drop my knee behind his leg and then I'm tackling that far leg. In wrestling, we, we usually go to this level. We pull it up to the hip. It's called shelving. And then we attack the far leg and take the guy down. I'll run to side control. And then he'll frame. He'll start his move like he wants to get his guard. And I'm like, here, you see? See, look at my posture, leg up. He's gonna pummel his arm for the underhook. I whizzer. You see, he's got his snake. This arm right here, don't let the guy control it. See, like if I can control this, it's gonna be a little hard to get up. See that? And then I can just step right over him towards the mount. Keep this elbow inside. So just think elbows in, keep the arm inside. And now when he wants to get up, I can't stop him. He gets on his toes and steps behind my leg. Look at my hand on the wizard. See, if I do this, he could just climb on my back. So I put my hand on the wizard and now he's coming to come get this leg. If you ever reach the leg, just, just drive and go. If the leg is, if the guy's doing splits, like he knows how to wrestle, he'll probably do something like this. This is why we shelve it to the outside hip. We pick the leg up and shelve it. As you shelve it, it brings this leg a little closer. Then you can reach out and grab that leg with your left hand. And then boom, he's taking me down. He runs to side control. I think, get my elbows in, bring this inside. My knee's here, I bump, I shrimp a little bit. He's hugging me. I'm trying to get some space and I realize, let's go. From here to here. If he sprawled and you didn't get the snake, like this, you can still do it. The problem is when you get to here, he's gonna be in a front headlock. And you're gonna be sprawled, please. Yeah, now I'm gonna be like this. That's still okay, because we have other techniques. But if we can snake, we're gonna get more uh, reversals, sweeps. They're not really a true sweep because we're going from side control, but reversals, or what everybody now calls wrestle up. I just learned that term, wrestle up. So I'm here, boom. From here, right there. Boom, once I go here, he tries to sprawl, and I'm going belly down, I keep the leg, run behind the leg, shelf, tackle. Run into the side control, it's his turn. He gets the basic guard replacement going. See my knee, I'm like, I'm trying to get my knee on the belly because I don't want him to get his guard. He goes, I see your leg. Snakes the leg. I whizzer. He steps over my leg, shelves. If you can ever, yeah, guys, if you come to the waist, this can be dangerous. He goes to the waist, tries to drive into me. I whizzer him, drop the guy back down. You're gonna hit with Uchimata. Stay low. You wanna beat a wizard guy or a judo guy that has a good uchimata? You go to the low position, you pull it up to the waist, to the hip, shelf, and now there's no uchimata. Uchimata, guys, is this foot being in between and a guy going here to throw you back down. So when you shelve it, there's none of that. 
And now you go ahead, he tackles, and I lose. I now have to recover guard. I'm gonna let my partner run the side control and it keeps repeating itself. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three. For a really quick uh, recap and review. Let me use Ryan. You all right, Ryan? Okay. Okay, so, so recap this right here. If the guy, go ahead and pass to the side. So he passes and now he's in side control. When I use this, I bump and I try to get my guard. You see what happens? He doesn't like the guard coming in. So he, do what you just did. See how he drove his knee in there? Now look, my frame pops out and I go here. See how I capture? Everything else we understand, right? My left elbow's in, I use my legs, I can, I can bridge and get up. I can also turn belly down like this. See how I did that move? There's different ways you can do it. Some guys will, will, will do a, a bridge and up. Other guys will do this. See that? So whichever suits you. But what if I start to do this, but the leg gets away? I could also just go guard, right? What does getting guard, if his leg goes back, it makes him want to pass the guard. Half, right? Lockdown. But now, as I'm coming in, what do you want to do with that knee to stop me from getting, he wants, bam, he gave it to me. So remember, guard replacement, will cause him to bring his knee in and you grab it. Grabbing it will cause him to sprawl and go out for placement comes. okay? Hopefully we can tie those two ideas together. So we're gonna get guard back or we're gonna get a single leg and we're gonna come up. One or the other, he's gotta give us one or the other, okay? Let's go, one, two, three. One or the other. Hey buddy, hey buddy, listen to me. I uh, I said snake the leg, snake the leg guys. I didn't say I wanted a snake to come and wrap around my leg like this. <laughs> <laughs>